Hey y'all, it's Teresa and I'm out here in the garden. So um, today I'm just gonna talk about some things that I've been wanting to do in the garden. Unfortunately, I'm on restrictions and I cannot get in the garden. This is my current situation. Um, if y'all don't know, I'm a hairstylist by trade. So most days I'm actually doing hair. On my off days, I'm doing the garden. I'm a new grandmother, so I've been holding the baby a whole bunch, and it's actually aggravated my wrist, my thumb. I cannot use my hands right now. So far, I have reorganized my um, my garden, my seeds. So I purchased two additional things like this to to organize my seeds. I've been actually categorizing my seeds and sorting those. I've been doing my videos and now I'm trying to transfer them on flash drives so I can be a little more organized with that. I'm seeing stuff in the garden, but not the stuff that I was wanting to see. So I'm hoping to get a calendar, put on my calendar ahead of time what I actually want to be planning and get ahead of myself, be more like consistent with my um, my content. So now I'm just gonna go out here and show you some of the stuff that I had in mind to do. In the, it's been about six days since I went to the doctor and was told to not do anything. So in that time, something had attacked my tomato plants. So you, you can see the leaves. My daughter helped me out and came out here and sprayed them down. So it's kind of slowed down now, but it wasn't like a horn worm, but it was like a green worm. And um, so it was eating up the leaves. So in this bed, I did sprinkle out some seeds here. I got some cilantro and rosemary savory seeds in here. It's only been a few days. This is where I found the worms eating up the leaves here and a couple of my peppers, but these peppers are starting to look a lot better since she sprayed them. Over here I got basil, cinnamon basil, dark opal basil, and I got Italian large leaf basil. By the way, I actually love these planters. I fill them up. They got a reservoir in the bottom that's, you know, the hold of water. So it's, it's watering it from the bottom. And then I got the drain holes on the side. So I really like these. On this one, we have, the Genovese basil and dill. And as you can see, like this, this is full of water. It's been raining the last couple of days, so. You see some sprouts, look at that. We got something coming up in here. Look over here, we got some over here coming up. Look at that, right there. Can you smell this jasmine? Oh my goodness. That smells so good. Oh gosh. It's so calming. It's jasmine. Oh boy, I wish y'all could smell that. So these pots, I had tomatoes in these pots and then I had um, bee balm. And I thought it was dying, but it's actually coming back. This one looks better. So this was already planted in here. Look how nice and thick this is. Y'all, this is something new that I'm doing. A client bring me these wine bottles and I have a um a steak down in there, terracotta steak down in there. So I fill the fill these bottles up and it keep it watered. So this is my new like this is the stuff that I planted out just before my hands just got really bad. This was on the 31st of March. I actually so repotted potted these. They were in smaller um, seed trays, and then I repotted them in these, and they're actually looking pretty good. So down here, I have ghost peppers that was repotted, and since I repotted them, they they look pretty good, especially this one. They look really nice. So this is what's got me worried. I have sugar baby melons, crimson sweet melons, Haley's best jumbo cantaloupe back there and over here. So I actually want to get these out soon. 
And then down here I have acorn squash and spaghetti squash back there. Okay, last week I planted some butter crunch lettuce and Paris Island lettuce have not sprouted, but the butter crunch has. So my goal was to actually try to do the hydroponic gardening system with the, with these. It was something I was just going to try. Another thing is I had cut these I pulled these out of those boxes and I was going to replant these out in the garden because they was doing so good. Like, why not let them keep going? They want to keep producing. Just let them. And now I'm stuck and can't plant them. And this is what's going on. They got fruit on them sitting right here in this in this little pot. So this area is where I was hoping to put my melons. I was gonna build something over here and maybe make like a trellis or something to get my melons out. I'm gonna show you where I, I recently planted these bean plants. I had planted these at the same time that I planted those other plants and I was able to get these out just before I went on restriction. And you see, they look, they look pretty good. Then I have more over here. You see, these were planted on the 31st as well. As well as, well, not this one. This was a volunteer plant that just came back, but this was a new plant. So all of them, they look good and, and right here. So I was hoping to get more of that stuff out in these pots. They look, they look like they're doing pretty good. So, oh my goodness, look at this. See, I was, I've been at least coming out here, checking everything. And I haven't seen one of these things and I forget the name of them, but I haven't seen one in so long. But, um, they are not gonna rain on my parade. I'm gonna take that off of there. I'll get them. So I got him off of there. So here's a look at those collards and mustards. And as you can see, like the mustards, they're starting to go to seed. See that? And I'm just, my eggplant, it was looking nice the last time I checked it. And you see this one still looking all right. Like we was trying to get some fruit. Something keep eating the leaves another test this papaya that I I don't think it's gonna make it yes I had big plans to have lush foliage and flowers in this area in this area I was thinking about possibly putting the fencing right here so stuff can grow up the beans can grow up here, but you see this is trellised. So these beans can grow on the trellises. And the same on this side. Over here, this tomato vine, when it's done, this trellis is gonna be used for something else. This right here is turmeric. That one. I got this nice little spot right here. I could use for something. <sighs> it's just hard not being able to do anything because I got so many things that I actually want to do. I was planning to do more herbs in these and I went over here to dig some dirt and I couldn't. So I'll show you over here. I still like this area is still producing. So I come over here to feel better. I look and I see stuff still producing he's still getting vegetables out of this area spinach kale greens callaloo
So that's gonna conclude the walk through the garden. And I do appreciate you hanging out with me today. Um, so I hope that gives you some idea of some of the plans that I have for the garden. And hopefully I can still follow through on many of those plans. A lot of effort has gone into those plans. If you like this video, please do hit the subscribe button, share, um, leave your comments. I just noticed the doves um, hanging around. They still hang around here. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next.